Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good morning, Utah, and happy Friday. The time is currently 614, and it is an active start to the morning across the Beehive State. We have another storm system moving through, and across the state today, we'll be looking at widespread showers and thunderstorms, and we're tracking a decent amount out there as we speak for Metro Salt Lake City, up through Davis and Weber County, and even up to Cache Valley, seeing some pretty steady rain at this particular point. Once you get above 7,000 feet, that's when you start to see some of the snow, and over in the West Desert, we do have a few thunderstorms to start things off. We're also tracking showers across southwestern Utah, maybe a little bit of light rain around St. George as we're tracking showers from Washington County through portions of Garfield County and even around Beaver right now seeing some light rain. And we're also seeing a few spotty showers around Moab, but at this particular camera view at Redcliffe Lodge in Moab, you're just looking at one of the showers off in the distance, starting off with mostly cloudy skies from spots that aren't actively seeing wet weather. But again, at any point today, there is going to be the chance that wet weather finds you. And in some spots like Utah State University in Logan, where that steady rain is coming down, the streets are a little waterlogged. So if your drive is long enough, you might encounter some wet streets, building that extra time for that Friday morning commute. As you head out the door, temperatures in large part outside of the high country are sitting in the 40s. And 50s while St. George is waking up to a temperature of 61. You're out the door forecast along the Wasat front at any point today. A good chance that wet weather finds you. I don't think it's going to be one of those days where we see nonstop wet weather 100% of the time. But if you have any plans to be outside, definitely keep a watchful eye on the sky as temperatures will remain relatively consistent. And for most along the Wasatch Front, we'll see those daytime highs range in mainly the mid to upper 50s. Daytime highs up north will mainly be in the 40s and 50s, which is about 5 degrees below our seasonal averages. While in central and southern Utah, daytime highs in the 50s and 60s, quite a big change of pace compared to what we saw earlier this week. We'll see a daytime high of 59 in Ogden, 57 in Spanish Fork, and a daytime high of 47 in Park City. And most of what we find Today will be valley rain, mountain snow, with that snow level likely staying above 7,000 feet through the daytime hours. In central Utah, daytime highs mainly in the 50s and 60s, with Fairview being one of the cooler spots at 48. Then down in southern Utah, we'll see a daytime high of 60 in Blanding, 60 for Escalante, 48 degrees in Bryce Canyon and a daytime high of 67 degrees in St. George. Outside of any wet weather or for, or for when times we have breaks, we'll mainly see partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies, and it will be breezy at times across Utah. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast and walk you through what we can expect over the next couple of days. Scattered showers and thunderstorms more or less from this afternoon into this evening. And again, at any point today, decent chance that wet weather will find you as our storm system slowly moves through. I think today probably brings us our best chance overall across the state. As we go into our Saturday, our, st our storm system system will slowly begin to move away, but we'll still hold on to a pretty good chance throughout the entirety of our Saturday with maybe that chance dwindling from the afternoon into the evening. And once we move into Sunday, our storm system begins to pull away to the east. We'll still see some lingering moisture. Can't rule out the potential for a few isolated showers between Sunday into Monday. But by that point, we'll start to dry things out for the most part and we'll begin to warm things back up with temperatures likely climbing above our seasonal averages as quickly as Monday. Over the next few days, still expecting some pretty healthy moisture with the bulk coming today into tomorrow and in some locations we might be able to pick up another inch compare and that'll be in addition to what we've already seen in some spots we've seen some pretty healthy moisture and in the mountains we could see some healthy snow accumulations mainly above 8,000 feet from the western Uintas, from the southern Wasatch Mountains, all the way down to the southern mountains, we have a winter weather advisory in effect. These will more or less last through Saturday, but for the western Uintas and the southern Wasatch, that will continue through early on Sunday morning, as 6 to 14 inches of snow is likely in those spots above 8,000 feet, and in some locations we actually could pick up a little bit more. So we'll keep you posted on all of that, and we'll always take all the snow that we can get, especially up in the high country. In St. George, scattered showers and thunderstorms today, with isolated showers tomorrow, daytime highs running below below our seasonal averages in St. George. As we round out the weekend and move into next week, though, we'll check in with mostly sunny skies with highs, highs warming through the 80s as we move into next week. Then along the Wasatch Front, scattered showers and thunderstorms the next couple of days today, bringing the best chance with daytime highs below average. Just a slight chance Sunday into Monday with temperatures warming and should be back in the 70s by the middle of next week.